This video will explain how do we know about the internal structure and workings of our sun. As a reminder, the internal structure of our sun constitutes the core where nuclear fusion takes place, surrounded by the radiative zone, then the convective zone, and the surface of the sun is known as the photosphere. The power of the sun comes from nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. To understand how we know all of this, we need to define pressure. Pressure is defined as force per area. Molecules or atoms at high temperature bounce around. Each time they collide, they exert a force. The total force per area is the pressure they exert. Because pressure depends on the violence of the collision, at higher temperatures you get faster particles and hence higher pressure. What does this mean for the Sun? The Sun's massive gravity must be counteracted by some force. In this case, it will be provided by the pressure of the high temperature gas from inside. The balance of this pressure differential pushing upward versus gravity is known as hydrostatic equilibrium. Here is a cross section from the surface of the sun to deeper layers. The surface layer may have little mass and hence doesn't need as much pressure. The deeper you go, however, the more total mass you need to support with greater pressure. The greater pressure is provided by higher temperature layers. So what provides the heat from the core of the sun to sustain the high temperatures and high pressures? Recall that we know the composition of the sun from its spectrum. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Thereby, we can conclude that the source of power for the sun is turning hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion. Of course, we cannot directly observe this. However, we can get clues from a byproduct of nuclear fusion known as a neutrino. Neutrinos are nearly massless particles that don't interact with regular matter very easily. 
they are very difficult to detect. However, neutrino detectors from around the world have confirmed that the vast majority of neutrinos arriving at the Earth come from the direction of the Sun. This is the most direct evidence that our theories of the internal workings of the Sun are correct.